Hi friends, welcome to Spring Boot series. In this session, I'm going to explain embedded servers in the Spring Boot. By default, if you run Spring Boot application, it will run on Tomcat server, right? So if you want to exclude and if you want to run in different server, like we have embedded server like say Jetty, Undertow, we have a different types of servers, right? If you want to run how you can do that, how you can exclude Tomcat server from your web or from web strata okay so let me open application so that you will have a better clarity so let me stop this server so what i can do just you can take backup uh, mysql code operations let me copy paste it here you can say embedded servers you can say embed embed right embedded servers let me take another copy here so on this project we are going to discuss how we can do that so all operations already you know now just here i'm giving a random port number in stuff i'm giving 8080 port number i want to run on this port number okay just try to observe here now just um running as an application you already know how to run your spring boot application all right so yeah it is started on tomcat server right a uh, tomcat started on port number 8080 just quickly check whether it is working or not if it is working uh, now it is working right now how you can exclude means just go for your pom.xml here okay inside the pom.xml you have a web dependency web strutter you have here you need to exclude your tomcat server if you click the web strutter hyphen web okay you can see uh, other starters uh, inside here all your spring boot version uh, here if you see a uh, spring boot starter starter json again you have a spring boot hyphen starter hyphen tomcat if you go here again in in this starter again see tomcat embedded core tomcat annotations api okay some uh, tomcat related dependencies it will take care by the spring boot itself so I want to exclude completely this is starter just go ahead and copy uh, these two lines just artifact group id and artifact id let me copy here okay and go ahead for parent level here one tag is available if you want to exclude any dependency you can use ex you can say control space bar exclusions we have inside exclusions we have one more tag exclude tag okay now let me do it exclusion tag here you need to run your just copy paste okay your group id and artifact i think this is not copied properly let me go here uh, web here and tomcat group id and artifact id okay just copy let me go back here and paste it these two things here okay that's it uh, now your application is in correct state now it won't run you are you from the web dependency you are excluding your tomcat server now if you try to run this application now okay now once once you uh, you excluded now you need to say that where you need to run your server now okay let me uh, stop the server here now we have embedded tomcat servers okay what i am taking uh, a jetty server i will take now, now try to see here dependency inside dependency you have a group id as you know group id is common for every application in spring boot you can use and here you need to choose your artifact id okay your artifact id will start from spring boot starter just copy here yes you need to replace with under tau hyphen under tau that's it it will be run on under tau server that's it your job is completed now try to see here embedded servers right let me save the application once uh, here i given spelling mistake you can use under top okay now it is dip, uh, downloaded your jar file now you can run your application right click run as java application now try to see here uh on uh, now it is see here i think you can see here under tau started on port number 8080 this is one of the embedded server if you want just click send button here see you can able to run as like a tomcat server itself now suppose if you want to choose 
jetty now what you can do copy okay let me comment it here let me take another one here just you can choose j e t t y jetty that's it nothing new okay now see application is started and ah uh, now this time you are using uh, undertow is completed now you want to run on the jetty server right now let me stop here whenever if you do any change in the pom.xml you need to restart your application so run as java application now it will be run on port number 8080 on jetty server uh, now try to see here jetty started on port number 8080 now just go and hit your send button you can see all the data okay i hope it is clear for you how you need to exclude and how you need to uh, run on a different server i hope you you enjoyed this session if you like this video just please go ahead and leave your comments and subscribe our channel thank you